Taking a little break from 10 HDV Master, let's get back to Final Fantasy 13 Light Returns for one episode for now. No, I haven't forgot about this game. It's just that with the uh, with Final Fantasy 10 um, HD remastered in English finally in our hands, everything is actually kind of back paged for me now because I've been looking forward to LPing that game for quite some time. But I've got a lot of loose ends out there. This game, the last episode of Final Fantasy VII, the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories blind LP, and of course the Tomb Raider games. I've got a lot of unfinished LPs out there. There's just so many games to play and so little time. And once again, guys, if I didn't have a full-time job, I probably would have been done with most of the stuff by now. I'm on vacation now, but I've only got, like, what, three more days left after today. Anyway, I think I spent enough time in the, um, I think I spent enough time in the Wildlands. Let's go to the Dunn Station now. I've already bought my stuff from this guy here. Uh, these little red cat tar things act just, just the way they did in the second game. They act like little teleport stones. Very, very helpful. I think my inventory is full. My recovering items. Full of things down as they are. Okay. It's 2 o'clock. I have no points. And yet, it's actually very possible for me to complete this whole main quest before this day ends. The first thing I'm going to do is run around and try to find some monsters. And here's one I need to fight right now. The first thing I'm going to do is run around a circle and build up my points in order for me to freeze time. And by the way, guys, pretty much everybody on this level, e every monster except for the ones inside the cave, will uh, deal with that little problem later. Pretty much everything here is weak to win in some form or another. So no reason for you not to be using it. Make absolutely sure that all three of your all three of your outfits have a, a win attack in some form or another. Everything in the sand is weak to win. Everything. Except for a few monsters. And I'll uh, deal with them later on. Anyway guys, let me just run around a circle and build up my points until I can freeze time. Okay, I do believe that does it. Now then, freeze time. There we go, not bad. Okay, let's see where we are. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head down here and activate these uh, cat tie stones. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be fighting monsters. Each and, every single, each and every single one of these uh, temple things here has a has a cat toss stone around it somewhere. There's a monster. Need to fight this guy because he's really easy. He just throws 25% uh, of your points. And by the way, I think I need to break down my uh, my dress fears here. Anyway, let's see here. This is this is the main one. Absolutely no reason not to use a uh, woodland maker on this level, because everything here is is a uh, weak to win. Gunner unit. This is actually my commando. I'm gonna use both unit outfits for obvious reasons. Uh, Gale strike, crashing waves, frost strike is mainly there just to increase my strength. Steel guard if I need to defend. You see the stuff here? Pretty basic win and, and, and a basic attack for when, for when, when I stagger him. Summoner Yuna, this is just uh, something that, that I filled in for fun. Uh, like I said, everything, pretty much everything here is, is a weak to win. This is uh, if I stagger them and, and I want to you know, attack them while I stagger. This elemental thing here that comes with the Yuna outfit, this is for pretty much everything that's not weak to win, like the uh, cactars and the wolves and stuff like that. We'll burn that bitch when we come to it. Aerith, this is going to be my Sentinel. And Lara Croft, this is going to be a fun outfit for later on. We'll uh, deal with that later. Let's continue. Uh, 
Okay, where was I going again now? Uh, there's supposed to be a, a cacti stone around each and every one of these temples. There's another must I need to fight. I'm probably, I'm probably uh, only going to show every monster at least one time. As that, I'll edit them out. Anyway, where's the fucking cacti stone? It, there's, there's supposed to be one around each and every single one of these temples. Or maybe, actually, I think this one is, I think this one is actually inside the, uh, yeah, that one's on the, uh, that one's on the inside of the temple. Okay, that's why I can't find it. Bastards. That was very sneaky for them to do that. Anyway, let's keep going up here. There's a chest up here. Metal arm guard, not bad. Here's another monster I need to fight to restore my points, and there's another cacti stone down there. Anyway, we squashed that insect. Let's go over here. I guess I can talk to this guy now. Uh, actually, I can't talk to him until I trigger the stuff in the in town. Activate this cacti stone. Okay, where am I? Now I want to go this way. Where was that damn thing again? It's up there, I believe. Yeah, I'll burn that bridge later. I need some monsters, please. I need monsters so I can freeze time. That's a that's a real fucked up thing. You always fight monsters when you don't want to, and when you want to fight monsters, you don't fight the monsters. That's just not right. It was even it was even more of a dick move for them to add thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. The whole distinct feature is is really nice and really cool. Uh, but the thing is, once you once you extinct that monster, they won't come back until you start a new game or go to the, the ultimate layer, or whatever. I don't know exactly how that works, but. If you can't fight the monsters, you can't restore your points. You can't restore your points, and, and then you, you, uh, you can't freeze time. So you still need to be somewhat conservative of these things. We're going to go over here and get this uh, thing here. I'm definitely going to sting these guys, because these damn little floating demon things are everywhere. Anyway, the main reason why I came up here is to get this. I want to get this now. All right, jumping down. Let's see, where am I now? Let's continue north, I guess. Yeah. Let's continue up here. And here's one of those random monsters I told you about. That is a way to win. In your case, I'll just break this out. There he goes. Yes. That that Yuna elemental spell thing is, is really powerful. It's costly but very powerful. And it'll dispose of everything on this level that's not we to win. Not everything, not the cactus of course, but it'll definitely help. Okay, there's two more of those floating demon things. There's a cat toss stone. Make absolutely sure that you activate each and every single one of these before you start your um your tomb raiding. Okay, I got that out of the way. Now let me just head north and take care of a certain boss. Here's another one of those floating demon thingamajigs. I don't want to go that way yet. We're gonna go this way. I'm heading for that sandstorm over there. Here's another fish to fry. Okay, there's a cactus stuck inside this sandstorm. Look at that. But this is a very special cactus.
Now, before fighting this guy, the first thing I'm going to do is save the game. Actually, I need to set it up and then save the game. This cacti is very unique. It doesn't matter how strong your attack is, it will always do one hit point of damage. One. That's it. One. For that reason... We're gonna put this on. Anyway, let's do that. What the? You little fuck. Come, come here, you little bastard. I ain't, come on, I ain't got time for this. You fucker! And then he hit me first, you son of a bitch. Ah. Shut up, Hope. It's a good thing that I saved because there's something I forgot to do. For starters, I'm going to take out some of you and I'm going to bring in Aerith here. This is going to be my medic. Not my medic, but my, um, my sentinel. Uh, what do I want to put down here for her? I mean, it doesn't really matter what I use. It's not going to do me any good. Uh, what I got? Libertad, may God. I might as well use a guard level 3 because I can't take off the other guard. As for Gunner Uni here, instead of this damn Frost Strike to make sure I don't heal him, I forgot to put this on. Very, very important. Life Slash level 2. That's what I forgot to put on. My Ravager, you're fine. Uh, let me stop. Let me stop with you, I guess. Alright, let's try this little tango again. Gotcha, bitch. Definitely want to get the first strike to reduce his hit points. Making it much less aggravating. After all, very useful for this fight. It attacks twice, and it's changed for lowering your attack points. Since it doesn't matter how much how strong you are, this guy will always take one hit point. Use a uh, light slash. And use it with this sword to attack twice. And that will definitely speed up the fight. Don't know why I'm doing the deep attack. Ironically, it seems as if Aerith, Aerith was, was uh, designed to be a sentinel. That makes no sense. But Aerith is a really good sentinel. Really good. She comes with, with, with a level 3 medigard. That's just, that's just not right. I expected her to have like some some, some uh, healing spell, some some healing spells, stuff like that. Oh, damn! One thousand needles. The reason why I'm taking my hits because I got the medigard. If I get low hit points, just medig. Damn it! I hate when he does this. It's so fucking annoying. If I get low hit points, just uh, go to Medic Guard and heal it up. And even then, I got like, what, six fiends down in my inventory? So, yeah. Not only that, but her shield, her shield actually restores hit points after you, uh, after you guard for such a long time. Guys are annoying as fuck, man. Every time he attacks, he stumbles you in the air for like 10 seconds. I can't stand it. It's just so fucking annoying. It'll suck. It'll really suck balls if I don't get the item that I really want him to drop. This guy can use the arrow guy. I didn't know that. What's done is done. So can I, you little fuck. There he goes. There he goes. And he dropped the awesome ATP charge. That's what I really wanted. The fragment of kindness, that's actually a key item for a Saz later on. You got them, didn't you? The soul fragments for Dodge? You're the one who gave Saz the coffer. You started this wild goose chase. Wild goose chase? Saz was suffering. I felt sorry for him. 
You should know how he feels, wanting to be reunited with the last bit of family he has. Right, Lightning? Right. Because I lost Sarah, huh? Exactly. Though it's not the same thing. I'm afraid that a coffer of souls won't save Sarah. Too bad. You'll just have to figure out how to save her for yourself, huh? That's what I'm planning to do. I don't need anyone's help. Especially not yours. Four families down, one to go. And there's something funny I found out about lightning and alumina. Uh, apparently, it seems as if you can do these uh, missions in any order you want to, for the most part. But sometimes when you trigger cutscenes, they would act. They would act as if, you know, this is when you're supposed to do it. For example, Lightning acknowledged that Lumina is Sarah back way back at the beginning of this LP, but now she's acting like she doesn't know that Sarah. What that means is I could have came here first before doing the other stuff in um, Luxarian. I guess that's what that means. I I don't know. Anyway, the reason why I wanted that ATB charge because unfortunately this uh, medic guard drains a lot of your um. I love your time thing, and I really need it. So, actually, I don't think I need that, but I can't take it off. So, let's see. Deep attack. There we go. God. All right, I need one more ability for my sentinel here. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Hopefully, I'll, I'll find it soon. I forgot exactly where it is. With that cat out of the way, let's get some of that unit back in here. Shut up, Hope. Okay, we got that out of the way. Now, I'm going to start heading back. Let's just go back to that Katar stone. I, I, I kind of had this whole level planned out. But unfortunately, it's kind of complex. I forgot, it, I, I forgot the, the path I was going to take already. There's so many ways that you can do this. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to head back to these cat tar stones. I really don't like using this sword on, on this unit outfit because, unfortunately, it just looks weird seeing her carry that big sword around in that, in that unit outfit. And one thing I don't understand is that the exclusive weapons for the downloadable characters like, like Yuna, why does this, this thing suck so bad? Okay, it only increases your magic by 300 points, which isn't bad, but it, it lowers your stagger power. That's why I'm not using it because it lowers your stagger power. The guard stick, this thing increases your your guard defense by 50, which is very unique for a weapon. But unfortunately, this shit reduces your stagger power by 55%, and I can't have that because I got to keep that um, Earth Eater stagger uh, guards in check. Fuck that. Yeah, because I need I need to I need her to use uh, air rod to keep that guy stagger thing in check when I'm um, blocking the attacks stuff like that. So I can't have that that low stagger power thing. I ain't got time for you. Let's just teleport. Uh, where do I want to go now? Let me teleport back to the right here, back to the north gate. Has it though? I came this way to fight the um the fist cactar and get the ATB charge. If I didn't get it on the first try, I would have reset it and keep trying again until I eventually got the shit. Okie dokie. Now that I got that, I let's go this way. Desert. You may be right about that. Shut up, Hope! Light can bring people hope. There's a must I need to fight. And I gotta fight it soon so I can freeze I can freeze time because my time thing is about to spy here. Yes, it's it's I know I'm behind, but it's very possible for me to complete this whole main quest before this day ends, and I will. I wanna go ahead and get this out of the way. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I might. Thing is, uh, we're gonna get uh, that didn't that didn't start my points. Fuck. Thing is, uh, we're gonna get a new party member soon, and once you complete this thing, um, you know she'll leave. That's uh, the faith. I want the brave. I forgot where it is. Let me fight this guy first. So I can start my points and freeze time again. Now, come on now. 
Anyway, which way was it again? Uh, there's another temple. Let me just go this way. I mean, D faith is good, but right now it's not gonna do me any good. I think what I'm looking for is in here. Yeah, here, here we, here we go. This is what I want. Be brave. Make absolutely sure that you get that shit. Do not, do not fight those damn Earth Eaters without that ability. Please get this thing, please. All right, this chaos thing appears to be fixed. It will always be here. I'm gonna go here to to fight a, a weak monster, hopefully, to restore my points. And I did. There's supposed to be a way to control the chaos where you where you can get it to appear all the time. I probably learned that later on. There's another monster. Oh, I wasn't in the chaos the first time. I thought I was, but I wasn't. It's all good. Good night. All right, a free point. Not bad. Those chaos things really, really help. I'm always at two points. I, I'll be able to freeze time twice before it goes out, probably. Let me get this. Oh, thank you for showing up. This thing. It's ridiculously easy to kill. I can't believe how easy this thing is to kill. And he restores two of your points. I am so glad this guy is here. This is actually a very rare encounter. I mean, the dude has a very high stagger point, but once you stagger him, he's as good as dead. His stagger point is like 800 or something. Something like that. He's very slow. Like I said, unfortunately, it's going to take me a while to stagger him. But once that happens, he's as good as dead. Really, really easy to kill. And he restores two of your points. I wasn't planning on running into that guy because it's, it's a very rare encounter. But the fact that I did really helps, helps me out. So I can f I'll be able to freeze time probably four times before I run out of points assuming that I don't fight any monsters. Okay, uh, what the hell was that? Oh, another soul seed. Shut up, Hope! Alright, my goal now is to stay in this one area until I grind my points, my, uh, my EP back to six. Let me activate the Cactus Stone. Freeze time again. Alright, wrong one. This, uh, time freezing thing isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Because it's rather easy to restore your points once you know what you're doing. Get this. There's a monster. Uh, die, please. My journey won't end here. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, my main goal now is to stay in this area until I get all my points back. There's a certain monster in here that I want to grind. It would be very helpful if I could if I could fight those shell things again because those shell guys are very, very easy to kill, as you see. They're not hard at all. But unfortunately, in most cases, the monster you have to take down is none other than this son of a bitch, the Earth Eater. All right, here we go. This guy is not a pushover. But actually, I found the ch I haven't fought the chocobo eater in a while, but I found the chocobo eater much harder than the earth eater. All right, Aerith. ATB charge, made it guard, era to keep that stagger thing in check. Be brave. Please do not continue without this shit. Please use it. The Ravager, uh, blah 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 blah. Wind, wind, attack in case uh, my points run out while he's staggering. I need to do some more damage, of course. As for this one, be protect. I'm only gonna use that one time. Steel guard. 
and I got the shield for bravery. Yes, I'm using the uh, downloadable stuff. It's how I do things. Crash waves. All right, and uh, let me start saving the game now in case the har the harbor happens and I end up having to run from battle. Like I don't want to waste all my things down. So I, I want to try it again. Oh, trust me, you, this uh, saving thing you're gonna be doing it a lot if you're trying to you know wreck up your day stuff. Let's do this, Earth Eater. Awesome, I got a preemptive attack. This guy is a faggot. Every time you stack him, he gets pissed off. And just get this ready. No looking back. Okay, let's so I got go. a point to do that. That's right. The first stage of the fight is the, is probably the most important part. All right, let me attack him a few times. All right, deep, uh, be brave immediately. And deep attack. Do that right after you stagger him. Because uh, sometimes he'll power up. Yeah, this right here. You see this? He powered up. If you don't, when he does this, he's in bravery for a very long time. But since I use deep brave, that nullifies it. I deep protected him because that veil thing is, is going to be on for a while. I swallowed him whole. That attack still hurts a little bit. But not as much as it, as it would have if, if, if I didn't, uh, you know, do the deep brave. Okay, let me let me shut up and focus on the fight because I, I can't I can't fight this guy while uh, while talking. Sorry, I gotta stay focused. Me. Right? This is why you want D-Brave. Pretty much everything he does is, actually not pretty much, every, everything he does is physical based. Everything. This, this guy does not have any magic attacks at all. This is gonna hurt. Or not. This is why I got ATB charged, because unfortunately that meta guard drains a lot of your a lot of your time thing. And I do mean a lot. I'm actually not using the right shield. Sorry, pal. So once you come up with a with a decent plan, this guy really isn't that difficult to beat. But it does take some strategy. Hey, son of a bitch. <laughs> the faith guy, not bad. Two points. Anyway, guys, I was saying my goal is to fight that guy until I get all my points back. So I do this off screen.